Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the ultimate team, Road to Glory. This is the first episode, I shouldn't say welcome back, but if you have watched my FIFA 18 Road to Glory, welcome back for sure. This is the start of our Road to Glory and Ultimate Team. This is the series that will be going on the channel for the longest time. No career mode series, no other series will be going on this channel for as long as this one will be going because Ultimate Team, obviously, Road to Glories, it is never ending. This year, we are not going for a specific player. In the background, you can see that I've uh, picked the German nationality because I wanted to go for players in the Bundesliga and my starter squad. That was my goal. And right here, we are starting off with Mario Gomez as the highest rated player in our team. We have Bachtuba, we have Gondorf, who actually has gotten a left mid in form. So I got kind of unlucky there I think I could have maybe gotten an inform uh, to start off here but we are picking the kits we are picking the badges if you guys are as hyped about this road to glory which I will be putting at least five hours a day into yes I will be recording or playing on this account or trading for at least five hours a day I promise you that one go ahead and smash that like button let's crush the way you guys have supported my FIFA 18 Road to Glory, the Road to Ronaldo's. Let's crush the support on this one. This is something I deeply care about. I love Ultimate Team. I love Career Mode as well, as you guys know, but I really enjoy playing Ultimate Team and I've probably spent more time playing Ultimate Team than I have played Career Mode last year. So if you guys want to get started with Ultimate Team as well, if you have never touched it, if you have been only on uh, Career Mode so far, this is the time to make the switch and join the movement with me. Come in here into the ultimate team side as well. Enjoy both good things of FIFA. And right here, we have the pre-order notice, which, which shows you that um, our team will be getting uh, free packs quite soon. And also, we have actually uh, packs that are welcoming us back into FIFA which you guys will see live in just a little bit. I will be streaming the Road to Glory every day probably on Twitch. The link will be in the description down below. If you want to see things live just like nick 28 t go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Make sure you do so so that you never miss out on any Road to Glory content. But I will be posting the Road to Glory as much as I possibly can on this channel. Now squad battles Boys, as you know, I've come into top 100 often. There are no changes to squad battles. It is quite disappointing. We are not getting new rewards or anything. It is the exact same thing. Before that, we will have a lot of different things later on in squad battle, uh, not squad battles, but in ultimate team. Now, right now, I think we should switch over to the live commentary of when I opened my welcome back packs. We will start off with the gold pack. Please. Please, let's start off big into the year. I don't think that's a board. That's an 80 rated Lasana Diara. It's all right, I guess. I guess that is just about okay. We do not get any, uh, any Bundesliga player, so that kind of sucks. Can we actually pack ourselves something all right here? I know what is the tell for the packs. We're not getting anything on this one either. Gabbiadini now only 77 rated with 69 pace. Wow. Uh, again, no Bundesliga players on this one. Come on now. The road to glory has started. Give us something decent. Is that going to be boards? No, it is Davy Zilke. 74 pace striker from the Bundesliga who fits right into our team, by the way. I like that. He will be coming into our squad Four star skills as well. Six foot four tall. That is the first addition into our squad. Bundesliga squad is looking strong. The first one was decent. We got a player for our team. Can we get someone else that works right into our team? 80 rated Tarkovsky. Wow, he's 80 rated now. Okay, again, quite high rated, but then no one that we can put into our team. <laughs> nice. All right. Give me something good. Give me something good. Again, no board. No board. 81 rated Fabian. He has good stats. That's a good looking card. 81. That's the highest rated one we got so far. Still no rare gold, but I feel like we have gotten quite a lot of Italian players. La Padula, quite decent right here. 81 pace. 
that guy could go right into midfield he could go into the left back position quite balanced out stats as well for the start i like this pack this is a decent pack here we go come on come on give us a board nope it's not going to be a board again it is 78 rated de Jong. unfortunate unfortunate now Again, no player from the Bundesliga. Our plan of going to the Bundesliga at the start is not looking good right now. So here is the team after we have opened those welcome backpacks. Davy Zilke is looking quite all right, you know. 77 rated, full star skiller. I truly believe he could be a very good player for us. We have Fabian down the left. And also, by the way, guys, if you see the, the footage being a little bit weird, trust me, it's only going to be in the first episode. After that, I will have it fixed. Second episode, you will have clear quality. I know that the quality isn't perfect on this one because a lot of it, until like later on, in this video is going to be uh, footage that we had from the stream so right here you can take a look into the first team of the week Timo Werner you have Lozano you have Eden Hazard and uh, Koulibaly a really really good first team of the week including Joao Cancelo I believe who might just be the best right back in the Serie A for quite some time but um, that is the team of the week and we will be playing against it straight away we will be playing against it and uh, getting ourselves a couple of coins and also fulfilling the first objectives. One of the first objectives in the starter objectives area and we will be playing against them on world class because obviously our team isn't good enough. But since that is a single player game, it is not that interesting so I won't be showing it to you guys. We did win that game and we did get one of the starter objectives finished. Now, we can jump into the uh, squad building challenges as well right here. This is also very important when you're starting your road to glory. Keep every single player you get. But if you have to use them for the SPCs, especially for the starting ones, give them away. Because these starting SPCs have given out insane packs to some people. I believe people have packed icons and so on in these uh, hybrid league or hybrid nations uh, SPCs go for them we are doing the basic uh, basic ones at first as i bite right into my cheek ah oh, that freaking hurt you know that actually really hurts oh my god ah oh. okay i'm fine i will survive so we have finished the uh, let's get started spc bundle and we will be getting a two players pack from that one now the two players pack obviously could be great could be terrible but we are going to be opening the packs right now that we have gotten from that area right there as you can see bronze packs not really going to watch the whole animation obviously because we're not going to be getting any insane players on that one but right here we'll be opening the second bronze pack as well hoping to maybe get a few higher rated and rare bronzes so that we can actually sell them on when spcs and, and such come out do not sell your bronzes unless they are in the marquee matchups boys hold on to your bronze players as much as you possibly can only if you really need them for spcs or other spcs as well apart from the marquee matchups use them okay but for marquee matchups every single week take a look into the marquee matchups and see if you can use those players for those spcs then sell them or keep them in your club to do the spc yourself so right here we got the two players pack it is a rare player our first rare card a packed in fifa 19 and it looks like it might be an overpowered player 78 rated uh lens right here the dutchman down the right hand side playing for besiktas he has amazing statistics 90 pace 79 dribbling 75 shooting 73 passing and decent physical stats as well four star four star high medium work rates he is basically everything you want down that wing he is looking very solid and that is probably the best card in our team right now but obviously uh, we are going for a Bundesliga type of squad and he is going to be quite tough to fit in so he will probably drop down to the bench at first so after playing uh, the squad uh, not the squad battles but the uh, team of the week challenge we now have a few coins because we have enabled the coin boost in EA's FC catalog and we will be going for Lazaro a player that I truly believe will be getting a couple of informs this year I genuinely hope that he can do well at Hertha Berlin he has started off into the season quite good so he could be getting a couple of informs in the future he has been playing in the right back position he has been playing in a camp position he has been playing down the right hand side a very good 
good all-rounder as well, so he will be guaranteed in the starting lineup most of the time. Now, the one thing that kind of sucks about him is his three-star weak foot, but for now, he's coming in down that right-hand side, gets a strong link to our striker, Davy Zelke, and now we are bringing in another player for the right-hand side. It is going to be Da Costa from Eintracht Frankfurt, who does have quite good statistics right here for a right-back, and I think he's quite cheap as well. So, boys... If you need a cheap right back from the Bundesliga, go for Da Costa. And if you're looking for like a hidden gem that might be a little bit under the radar, Gacinovic is a good one, boys. 75 rated. Don't use him as a, as a CDM, but he has four star skills. So if you are someone that really cares about skilling, go for that. And this is the team right now. We have a left hand side of Italian players, including uh, Fabian from Napoli. And then down the right hand side, it starts off with the Bundesliga and goes around the team just like that. But. One position was still silver, so we had to do something about that one. Cut has to go, and we are bringing in, I mean, Younes, and it was the perfect player. It could have, couldn't have been more uh, perfect than this right here, because you see he has the German nationality, which links him to Davy Zelke, and he plays for Napoli, which gives him a strong link to Fabian in our left CDM position. So at this stage, our team was, I believe, nearly on 100 chemistry, and that is really nice to see. So it was time to jump into squad battles. You will be seeing my first game. I decided to play on Legendary straight away because I wanted to push for top 100 already this week. So hopefully we can get that done. But for squad battles games, I don't think I will be showing you guys the squad battles games that much. I think only towards the end of the week where we go into um, like moments where we have to win and the games are intense and we have to get the points in order to make it into top 100 or top 50 or top 20, top 10, which we have gotten multiple times last year and uh, quite easily as well. I think this year it's going to be a little bit tougher because the AI does actually play well, but only when we have some intense matches in squad battles, I will be showing it to you guys because I kind of feel like I'll be playing a lot more online as well because division rivals is another thing that I'm really looking forward to and you guys will see my entry into division rivals as well my placement matches will be in this episode at least one of them and then you will get to see where we actually did place in division rivals so look forward to a lot of diverse content now on this road to glory i'm incredibly excited honestly i just can't wait to jump back on onto the account and create some content for you guys because if I actually do play five hours every day, I truly believe we will have a lot of content. So I could possibly be posting this series every single day alongside my career mode videos. So I could possibly have double uploads every day. So that is a thing that you might have to think about in the future. But we do get a victory right here. Not the best of victories, but obviously that being our first squad battles game of the year. We got the victory, 3-1. I was quite happy with that. We got 1,900 points, which is not bad, but obviously not top 100 material. Now, we are going into an 83-plus lone player pack right here. I believe it was from one of the starter objectives or the daily objectives. And we will be getting ourselves a player from the Bundesliga. It is Kagawa. That is perfect for our team. He can fit right in there, but obviously... It didn't kind of work. Um, I thought about it for a second. I looked at my team and I was like, it doesn't work with him. Uh, the players don't get perfect chemistry if we do get him into the squad, I believe. So I kind of disregarded him. We changed our team name, obviously, or the account name to Road to Glory because this is a Road to Glory that is open. We are just not spending any FIFA points and I just bought Fairman for only 600 coins while he actually goes for a lot more already. 83 rated one of the most overpowered goalkeepers of last year and right here I was kind of shocked I was like what the hell everyone sells him for 10,000 but then we saw the lower prices he goes for around 1.5 1.3 1.2 we definitely saved a lot of money on that one and uh right here boys after playing the entire set of squad battles you see how I have improved my team I paid third uh 3200 coins for player uh, that is an amazing signing in my opinion. We brought in a couple of loan players. Gacinovic is still in the team. Delaney right here came in for 3,500 coins. He is the um, 
biggest coin amount that we have spent for this team so far an amazing player and then i brought in a center back in diallo and a left back in mendy and sanson for the midfield so after playing all those squad battles games from which we have gotten around 1700 up to 2200 coins per game because of the coin boost i was able to already create a really good looking team for our squad and now it was time to join into the foot division rivals placement matches that is exactly what we are doing right now we are starting off perfectly with alasane player who just crushes it two goals already and i think his price might go up massively because there are not that many good strikers in the Bundesliga who won't be costing you a lot of coins. I believe in his price class, uh, Alassane Player is literally the only one you can go for. And right here, Thomas Delaney bangs one in from outside the box. His left foot is amazing. This guy wasn't giving up though. It will be 3-2 right here after that finish, which was really good. I am still kind of struggling though with finishing i am not the best at finishing yet and i think it will take a little while but hopefully we can get there because there are so many different types of finishing now you can use a regular shot you can use a, a driven shot which now is l1 and r1 or lb and rb for the xbox and this is a funny goal right here that we score but uh then you also have the timed finishing which is obviously the best option if you do it perfectly but the game has changed and everyone is trying to get used to it. So everyone kind of struggles. So the games are kind of balanced out. Now we will be spending coins. Axel Witzel boys, a huge addition into the team. In my opinion, he is one of the most overpowered players in the Bundesliga already with his four star skills, six foot two tall. Already, rec uh, you always recognize him when he is on the pitch for you. An amazing, amazing player, in my opinion. All the stats are incredible. I will be popping a shadow on him. I don't like his acceleration that much, so I will be pop popping a shadow on him because I also want him to defend a lot for the team as well. And now we have finished our placement matches. We have won three out of the five, drew one of them, and lost the last game. Our skill rating is on uh, 1,414, and it puts us into Division 5. Now, look at this, boys. In Division 5, you can get some ridiculous rewards honestly incredible rewards look at this if you get to rank one in division five you can get 195 foot champs points you need 2000 to qualify for the weekend league 58,000 coins that is option one option two you have a two jumbo premium gold packs and 150k pack tradable so that is huge again really really good rewards or you can go the untradeable route, which is actually sick, where you have four Jumbo Premium Gold Packs and two 50k packs. That is, that reward right there is huge. For people who want to do like a pack to glory, I think they will be going for it. I believe Nick2080 and the Pentes are going for um, a pack to glory. So they will definitely be picking those untradeable rewards because they want to get those players into their team. So the rewards already in Division 5 are looking insane. If we can make it into like Division 3, Division 2, we'll be good. We'll be good for the season. Now, we are bringing in Sabitza into the team. And also, we are bringing in another striker from the Bundesliga. It will be the 79 rated Ante Rebic, who after the World Cup, a lot of teams wanted to pick up, but it didn't work out. So he ex extended his contract. And then we are also going for Akanji. So we are bringing in a lot of players that we had in our Dortmund career mode. Akanji also now coming into the squad right here. A really, really good center back. If you put an anchor on this card, the whole chat was telling me this when I was streaming. He will be insane. He already has incredible statistics, but with an anchor, he'll be looking very good. Or even a sentinel. And again, we gotta go Dortmund, boys. We gotta go Dortmund. Piszczek is coming into the team. And now, boys, we will be switching over to the live part where we will be opening some packs and you will get some proper quality on the video. Here we are now on the account and I absolutely love this part of Ultimate Team now that it shows you the team of the week already. What is this? Congratulations, you fan. You've earned an exclusive foot kit for being an EA Access member. That kit looks solid, you know. It actually looks very, very nice. So we will keep that one. 
I don't know if I like this new system, by the way. I'm not too keen on it yet. Hopefully, it will get better. So currently, boys, we have 8,400 coins. We have sold a couple of players along the way to go ahead and improve our team. That is what we have done. We have sold Fabian, Tarkovsky, Diara, Sainsbury, who actually looks like a very good silver. I think at some point his price might be going above 800 for sure. But we will be clearing the sold items and this guy will go back to the club. We have only used him on the transfer list to get one of the starter objectives done. Now, talking about the starter objectives, boys, let's take a look at it right here. Uh, we go over to the starter objectives. We have already finished the first three, four pages. And now we only need to play one more squad battles game to finish the last one as well. So we have 12 packs waiting in the store for us. And a couple of them are actually uh, really promising, I would say. Uh, we have two silver reward packs. Um, we have two gold reward ones. We have a couple of contracts, which, which I actually don't mind because... I've been lacking contracts already because we have no rewards or anything yet. And uh, you can see my record as well. 15 victories, 2 draws, 4 losses so far. A lot of Division Rivals games in there as well. But 8 Squad Battles games in there where we lost 2 of those. So our team just wasn't good enough at some point. And we have uh, three, gum uh, 3 common gold players right here. 2 silver players. And then we have a 2 players pack from which we could possibly pack something decent if the rare happens to be a gold player. And then we have the ultimate lone player reward pack. And this one here, I am excited about. I've seen a lot of people pack some insane players from these. I've seen someone pack Cristiano Ronaldo from this pack right there. I mean, I'm not hoping for Cristiano Ronaldo, but if I can get like a decent player, at least a rare player from Serie A, I would be very, very happy. So for the end of the video, boys, I will go ahead and I will be updating my opponents right here. Yeah, that is what I'm doing. And uh, we can take a look into the top 100. This guy right here, I mean, these two, I absolutely hate the fact that uh, some people are way ahead of anyone because they got the game earlier. But these two are currently in the first and second position. Um, uh, into the top 10, we will definitely never make it this time around because we missed out on a lot of games. But um uh, not missed out on a lot of games we missed out on a lot of points let me put it that way because our team obviously is a road to glory and we don't have the coins yet to make it a top 100 maybe but if i get a decent a decent amount of points now here from this set if i can get around 9,000 points and we go into the weekend with only having like 1,000 points up to the top 100. I think we could maybe make it in there if we are consistent enough and if we improve the team a lot on stream. Again, make sure to follow me on Twitch for that. So for that last objective that we have, from which we will probably get a decent pack as well, I want to go into a squad battles game right now. And after I'm done with that one, I will show you guys the points that I've gotten and then we will go and open the packs. And that should be the end of the game. We have won 4-0 in this game. We are getting a few amount of coins and also we will be getting a decent rating out of this one since it is a 4-0 victory. What is the point amount? 2,488. If we can keep that up, we could go up to 10,000 gain. Uh, 10,000. Can I speak? 10,000 points out of four games. My God, whew, English has gotten tough today. So we should have completed the last objective from the starter objectives. Already in the first episode, we are finishing all of these. We get 150 coins for that one, but what kind of a pack do we get from this? I'm, in, I'm interested in that. We get a premium gold pack, a 7.5K pack. That is decent. So let's start off with the packs. We'll be opening the contract packs at, f at first, and this will also be the end of the episode we need all of these contracts if we can pull something decent that'd be great but even if we don't we have around 10k right now and the team is looking all right i think we are ready to jump back into um what is it called division rivals and uh the one thing that i love about division rivals is that you can actually lose games and still get points i mean it only comes down to you wanting to play how good is that? You just, just just play games and you get points. I mean, I lost against someone and I got like 330 uh, 30 points, which is great. When I drew against someone, I got like 240. So it does come down to 
who is playing better in that game it, it does come down to how the points um will be spread out throughout that game which team has more possession which team has more shots on target it will help you with uh going up in the ratings in the rankings i should put it like that now let's get this lone player out of the way uh, the most excited i am for the serie r pack uh, which kind of lone player are we getting right here is it someone from the bundesliga that'd be great if we could get like Lewandowski. Tessigen works, um, German goalkeeper, that does work, but I don't think any of our centre-backs are German, so we will send them to the club for now. Um, we have silver reward packs, let's open them right now. I just want to have the gold ones as the last ones, we will skip the animations for the silver ones because obviously we don't care that much. All the consumables obviously will be sent to the club. I uh, can't wait to get our first rewards though, because if we do, or when we do, we will finally have a decent amount of um, consumables, which we right now just don't have and have to buy all the time. So I'm, that kind of sucks. What do we have? Okay, we, ha we got this one. This is the last one, the last silver pack. And then we will have around five gold packs from which if we can get one board, I would be extremely excited. We get Van der Werf right here. Uh, not that interesting again. We got six packs. Ooh, we got six packs that could be interesting. So let's start off with the three common gold players. Just give me a few high rated uh, common players. That'd be quite cool. Who are we getting in this one? It will be a 76, a 76 rated Jesse who looks like a decent substitute. I like that. He's back at PSG. I had no idea. Um, so he is back. We get Phillips and we get uh, Ko Ja Chil. I don't know if I pronounced that one wrong. If I did, I'm sorry. So we will go ahead again. Um, which one do I open now? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the gold reward packs because you don't get any rares in those, do you? I don't think you do. So I shouldn't get too hyped for these right here. Gold reward pack. Yeah, nothing rare. That kit looks all right, I guess. Nice haircut. <laughs> we'll move on into the last gold reward pack. And then we have three packs that actually might get us something decent in this episode. What is the rating of this player? 75 Clovert. Hey, very nice. 89 pace, 80 dribbling, 72 shooting. A lot of people have already told me that he has actually uh, been quite good for their teams. And we get a player pick as well. This is the first player pick that we have this year. Let's go, 75 to 80 rated, let's do it. This is the new thing in FIFA, boys. You get to pick a player that joins into your club with these player picks. I really hope that you can also like have player picks from players who are rated 85 to 90, but I think you will probably only get that with the weekend league but this is huge i absolutely love this new feature now we got to think about which one makes the most sense obviously none of these will be going into our starting lineup because none of them play in the bundesliga i don't like the stats of these two they are terrible stats wise i think this guy would be the best because he has 73 pace 75 defending 78 physical for a center back that is quite good montolivo Terrible statistics, even though he might be the highest rated one. Prudel just doesn't work. This guy is the only rare card and he has decent stats. So we are going for him. Maybe at some point we can use him for some SPCs. Now the question is, is he tradable? I would love to know, but I don't know how to check that. Let me press help here. Assigning new items. Review, sort, confirm, quick sell. Keep items pile, quick sell now, pile. No, no, that's, yeah, that's all not working i have to just send him to the club right there but we got a decent player out of a player pick wish it was a bundesliga player though right now we will go into let's open this one the two player pack give us something nice for the first episode come on now is it going to be a rare gold it is a rare gold it is a cdm from basel i believe i mean good stats but not the best pace yeah it's all right. I can't really complain. We get two golds though. That is nice to see. We get two golds from this one as well. And now we will go ahead and open the premium gold pack. And then we will open the Serie A pack from which we could maybe get something decent. Um, what is this one going to be? No boards, but we do get a rare player. It is someone from the Serie A. Not the worst stats really. 70 pace, 72 defending, 83 physical. That sounds quite good. For a 75 rated player. That is actually really good. Again, no player from the Bundesliga again. But we have 
A lone pack. Ah, that sucks. We did get the finisher, though. That is nice. We get uh, chem styles from these. That is very good. And then we will open this lone pack as well. We have three other items apart from a player as well in this one. So that is good. Who is the one? We get Courtois for seven games. That is not bad. If we get a couple of, of these, we can actually um, forge them together. And then you, you can have two Courtois and have one who then has 14 games to play instead of two or one who only has seven because you have to discard them. In the past, you had to do it. Now, I think you can put them together and uh, that is very nice. I don't know if that was in FIFA 18. I only learned about it this year. But this is going to be the last pack of this episode. <coughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Currently on 10,000 coins after the first episode when we already have a very, very good starter squad for the road to glory we are currently in the bundesliga as it was planned can we get something good out of this pack right here what is it going to be is it going to be any board player nah it is not boards we get is that brozovic yep that is brozovic 80 rated he has really good stats i like that we are slowly getting better and better pack pulls in the future obviously we will get some rewards and squad battles and so on, which will be much better packs than these right here. But I think at the start, I might go for coins and not packs. I'm not too sure. You guys let me know. Top right corner. Do you think for the road to glory at the start of this, should I go for the coin rewards in division rivals or should I go for the pack rewards? Um, and if so, which packs should I go for? Should I go for the tradable ones or should I go for the untradable ones? Which obviously you have more packs and better probabilities of packing good players, but you, uh, you're not able to sell them on. So keep that in mind. So with that, I will go back into the team right here and you guys will get to see the squad one more time. If you have suggestions for the future of this squad, let me know. It has an 80 rating, 100 chemistry at the moment. Sanson, obviously not on perfect chemistry right there, only on seven, but it is all right for now. I think if I would have to pick out one player that I don't like, it would be Rebic, I think. But then again, there's not too many options in the Bundesliga. Player has been quite good. 12 games, 13 goals. Can't complain about him at all. Um, Delaney, Sabitzer, Witzel have all been really good. Sabitzer, 5 games, 3 goals, 5 assists. That is an amazing record so far. Witzel, 8 games, 4 goals, 3 assists. He does go back into center midfield though, so keep that in mind. But I do like my team right now. I do like it a lot, but it will be tough from this point on to upgrade it because we will have to spend a lot of coins and most of the players' prices are rising at the moment. So we will see what we can do. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know about anything you want to know in the comments down below, anything you want to suggest. And after all, please make sure to subscribe if you are new around here for the Road to Glory content on the channel. I will be doing 50% career mode, 50% ultimate team. That was my goal this year and I really want to pull through. I enjoy Road to Glory type of content so much and I will be on this account, like I said, four to five hours a day. So you will see fast progress on this Road to Glory. Have a great day, boys. Thank you so much for watching the first episode and hopefully you'll be watching the next ones as well. Take care. Peace.